Okay, so 5.16 uh, says that we're given a block of ice with a mass of 8 kilograms is released from rest at the top of a 1.5 meter frictionless ramp. So let's just go ahead and create our ramp here. We know that this, well actually we don't know what the angle of the ramp is, but we do know that the ramp is 1.5 meters long. It's frictionless, so we get to ignore those pesky little friction kinematical equations. Um, and that this block of ice is 8 kilograms. We also know that when the block of ice reaches the bottom of the ramp, it's traveling with a velocity of 2.5 meters per second. So, uh, given all this uh, information, we're asked to find what the angle of the ramp must be. So, uh, to do this, what we want to do is just figure out what all of our forces are. So we can just draw a little free body diagram right here. We know that the force of gravity is acting on our block of ice. And so that's going to be mass times acceleration of gravity, and we'll fill that in here in a little bit. Um, and we also know that there's... Uh, the for some force, the acceleration is pulling that block of ice down the ramp at some rate. And we can figure out that rate by taking the acceleration of gravity itself times the sine of the angle of the ramp. Um, and then the ramp is frictionless, so we really don't have any, you know, normal force pulling the uh, block of ice back. So now to find the uh, angle theta here, we have... Um, let me see here. Oh yeah, so we have... Um, the kinematic equation for velocity is V squared is equal to V naught plus 2 times your acceleration times the distance traveled. I'm just going to abbreviate that with H. So we know that our block of ice was uh, released from rest, so we know that our V naught is 0. And we know that our end velocity was 2.5 meters per second. So that's going to be 2.5 meters per second squared is equal to 2 times our acceleration, which is g sine theta, times our distance, which is times 1.5 meters. And now what we want to find in this problem is the angle of the ramp. And lo and behold, we have an equation that has a bunch of known information and our only unknown is the angle of our ramp. So let's take that back over here and solve this equation for theta. So we have v squared uh, divided by uh, 3, that's our uh, 2 and our 1.5 times the acceleration of gravity is equal to sine theta. And then we can take arc sine of both sides to clear the sine out of there. So here we have a sine of our 2.5 squared over 3 times the acceleration of gravity is equal to our theta. And then when we just plug that into a calculator, we find that our theta is equal to 12.3 Ugh.